Alright guys, things have been getting pretty darn in intense lately. Uh, we just called a, a peace conference after we defeated Alduin for the first time. And now um, we have to go to this council meeting and try and com to make everybody want peace. So I just did some mad hop jumpins over here. They're probably not going to respect me anymore because I did my mad hop jumpins. But let's sit down and have this peace conference. I'm the only one sitting. Why is that? Am I supposed to be sitting? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm glad I finally got a chance to see this place. Take your seat, and we can begin. Okay, let's get let's now get ready. That everyone is here. Please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Hear, hear. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Found more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so. But bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. 
But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire! Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with a... If he's right about Aldrin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now... Back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yalshin. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoon will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperators hold to theirs. What about you, Elisir? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisir. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Elmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon 
to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in this scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce. There's one more thing we know about Parthenax. Parthenax, the dragon, he needs to be God until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we... Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either... Here's the big picture. He helped all... We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn. If they had their way, you do... The Grey... Be Think about it. No. Trust me. There is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Alrighty, so, um... What is the plan? I, I still don't really know what the plan is. I gotta go yell the Jarl or whatnot. I guess I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Where's Esbern? Worse. I thought I was supposed to talk to now him. Now it's up to you to deliver. As I soon as I get back to White Run, I'll get you him to speak up. I'm a... Shout for Udavi That's from it. the Dragon's Reach courtyard. After, haven't you been listening? There, la, he la, devours la. the soul. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not... Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands... Shut up. I don't like them anymore. I don't like them anymore. They can't kill Parthenax. He's a good dragon. He helped me out. He's my friend. He's my friend, guys. So let's go back to... Nope, we need to go to Dragon's Reach. And we need to go all the way to that little courtyard little area down there. And we're going to be fighting a dragon today. So even though that was like a really long, kind of meaningless meeting for a little while, um, and we probably could have skipped it and still kind of understood what was going on, we should be all right. So here's the Jarl. May the gods watch as I promised. My men stand ready. The great check. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Great. Let's Another go. Wonder, here to my father's boots. Good job. Prepare the trap. <laughs> I don't even know how the trap actually works. Um. You better know what you're doing. This is your cut. Let's get. I don't know how you. Let's get this over with. Is this the dragon trap? Be careful. Let's do this. Summon the dragon. All right, man. We're all ready to go. Get the shouts out here. And we've got. Call dragon. Five five three hundred. Oh my goodness. Dragon of yours. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah?
Alright, so now, um, we're waiting for the dragon. Let's get my bow out. There he is. Hey there, little buddy. How you doing? Oh, there, there goes the guard. Oh, I almost got him. Almost got him, guys. This thing's actually really strong. The ado adoving. Maybe I should zoom in on him. Whoop! Yeah, why the heck is he so strong? Do I need oh, you know what I think I need to do? I need to use the dragon wren shout on him. Ah, I see. We'll go with our magic, we'll use our shouts, and we'll use the dragon wren. Okay, Mr. Dragon, come on, where you be? Where you be? So I still don't even know how the heck I'm supposed to be trapped and this thing is supposed to somehow come in here and trap him. That makes sense, I suppose. Oh my goodness! Get him, guys! Get him! Trap him! And we captured a dragon! Avuta mid Kodav, caught like a bear in a trap. Zokfrini Grin Kogra Drun Viki Dovakin. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your mm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Ubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. These dragons are actually pretty smart. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thum for myself. Thum. I was cut a thum. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus. Innumerable pardons. Oh no. I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead. Oh goodness. Privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova. 
But without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Unikan Korav Gan Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zu Nitaru. Free me. And I will carry you to Skaldafin. Okay, let's do it, man. Let's free him. I just saw. Oh, that was a talk button. Talk button. No, I gotta free him. I don't know how to free him. Ah, uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you. A captive dragon. Just hmm. I had you. See what he has. I don't know. Maybe that's some awesome I stuff. You'll appreciate this. Restoration. Yeah, that's all crap. He's got some scrolls, but those are probably crap too. Yeah, crap, crap. Super crap, crap, crap. Oh yeah. Meh. Schnarf. Nothing too awesome. Eh, yeah, I don't like any of that stuff. All right. You know, if come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors, remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. Sure I don't know how to let him go. Jume, what are you doing back there? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. It's supposed to be here, setting them free. Their tail. I didn't know that their their tail is so weird looking. It looks kind of like a. I don't know what it looks like. You're getting pretty good at this. So here, maybe I gotta tell him that we gotta set him free. I'm still amazed that your plan worked. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city. They won't even let me talk to him anymore. I can't even talk to him. This is a joke, man. This is a joke. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Figuring it out. All right. Something to tell the dragon. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch your funeral? Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the dragon. Or his plan. I sure hope he doesn't break his promise to me. I think he. I think he would be cool. What's new? We need thine roofy Osborn. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Yes. Zukrit Uth, I warn you once you flow in the skies of Kaisal. Oh my god. We're riding a dragon right now. 
Hopefully, uh, Mark can come with us. Otherwise, that's kind of sad. Did the game freeze, or is it just like... Alright, so I think we're going to call it a day. And uh, hopefully we can figure this out for the future. Thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.